got a lot on my mind. She got a lot on my mind. I got a lot on my mind. I got a lot on my mind. Hey man, it's your Chris Leah, aka C Easy, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the lifestyle, and welcome back to another video. But can have you guys seen the market? I literally was celebrating yesterday about how my portfolio has reached an all-time high after being down 25% in the market over the course of these past few months. Just to wake up today and have my portfolio tank 4%. And on top of that, I have literally heard the worst news for the financial sector. But as you guys can tell by the title, I will still be going out and telling you guys my top three banking stocks to watch for the month of basically June going into July. Okay, so we got a lot of news to cover, man. If y'all enjoy this video, make sure that you go ahead and like it up. And I know y'all see the subscriber count. We are so, so freaking close to 1,000 subscribers, man. Y'all help me reach this goal. Let's hit this goal by the end of this month. But anyways, without further ado, let's get this video started because we have a lot to talk about. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and talk about is literally something that I woke up with and it was the reason why majority of my banking stocks went ahead and plummeted. So as y'all can tell by this article from the Wall Street Journal, bank stocks fall after the Fed projects no rate of increase. So as many of you guys know, interest rates with banks have been cut and that is a majority, well not a majority, but it is a good chunk of, you know, their revenue slash earnings. And this is kind of how banks make their money in a sense. It's a, it's a huge chunk of how they make their money. And it was projected that there are, um, according to the Fed officials, they have an announcement that they had no plans to raise the short term interest rates through 2022. And it is literally weighing down on the financial stocks, okay? And I had to go ahead and say this before um, I go ahead and say my top three stocks to watch, maybe keep an eye on or go ahead and buy. Because with this news, you may want to kind of hold these stocks more for the long term rather than trying to see if you could secure some gains in the short term for it. And the reason for this is because of this news. Like if you're just looking to get some gains, you might want to go ahead and check different sectors because I do not really think, I don't think that the financial sector will be that short term, all right, easy bounce back. Let's go ahead and make some money. There are plenty of different sectors for that. However, if you're looking for a good price point to come in, to hold it for the long term, to potentially see huge gains in the future, whether it's gonna say six months, a year, past 2022, whatever the case may be, then go ahead, listen to these top three and get yourself into these stocks as soon as possible, or at least start averaging in. Okay, so I said that, now let's get started with the top three, but starting with the first one. Okay, so the first stop on my list, actually might go ahead and shock a few of you guys, that is Discover Financial Services. And this way, just wait, I'm gonna go ahead and explain why I'm choosing this stock to be my first stop. My main reason for this to be like the number one stock to go ahead and watch is because they have a huge focus on like new people. Let's say like college students or people who are just now getting credit cards and starting to build up their credit scores and whatnot. They have a huge, huge base for that and they have a lot of rewards for newer members. So with that marketing tactic, it's a very, they have a strong incentive on a certain base of people to go ahead and bring in. And it's an ongoing base, like literally, each and every single year, more and more people are getting schooling, more and more people are starting to build up their credit and whatnot and discover they accept people that literally don't have any type of credit score, may not even be working. And on top of that, they were the first to offer cash back to their card holders. And essentially it's what they're known for. Like that's why they're such an incentive to, oh shoot, let me go ahead and get a Discover card as my first one. Cause literally the promos and the things that they have for first year people from, they give you some cash back for good grades. They um, also go, ahead and credit you for your first purchase. This is various things. And then I think they have like a 5% max within your first year. So there's just a big incentive to spend and actually kind of stay the course with them. So that's why I have them on my number one. And on top of that, with all these banking stocks, as we can go ahead and see, they're already at discounted prices because of all the news that's been currently coming out about them, especially amidst the virus and everything else that is continuing to happen. So in a sense, all of these stocks that I'm about to list are at a pretty good price point. If you guys want to go ahead, you know, think about putting your money into it. Okay, so now for the second. Okay, and with the second stock on this list, we have none other than JP Morgan Chase and Co. And 
This one is literally a no-brainer. If you guys do not know, they are the largest bank in America and the sixth largest bank in the world according to their assets, which is literally huge. And the biggest incentive with Chase, besides you know their amazing customer service and whatnot, is the fact they're essentially a one-stop shop. So whenever a customer comes, they can literally do everything they need financially with them. We're taking out loans, often checking savings accounts, getting cards, essentially whatever you need they have for you so it's kind of just like their whole motive and their marketing strategy is to bring people in and just let them know like whatever whatever financial thing that you need we have here and you don't need to outsource anywhere else so that's kind of why i feel like they are going to have like some of the biggest they're gonna have like the biggest presence in like the the financial sector especially on moving forward into the future if they can keep up building a whole lot more banks it's only just going to bring up their total you know earnings and whatnot just because of the fact that it is a one-stop shop so they do see a large amount of customers that stay in the long term which in turn is going to keep increasing their revenue so this with this stock is less of a risk just because me personally, I just feel like Chase is going to continue to elevate as like, they constantly come out with more and more news um, about how they want to expand and market themselves. So this is the second stock. And now we're going to move on to the final stock. Okay, and the final stock on this list is the American Express Company, and they are the largest credit card issuer in the United States, and they have some of the best rewards known to man, from their traveling cards um, to their everyday rewards, and their whole marketing strategy is this is essentially to keep bringing more and more rewards to start up spending and whatnot because essentially the more money you can spend the more rewards you can get and it's kind of like this cycle you spend more to get more you spend more to get more so they have a very very strong marketing strategy and i feel like with this strategy as long as they can continue to execute this successfully and they still have they have a lot of room for growth and like i said earlier for each and every one of these thoughts they are at a discounted price right now. And on top of that, post COVID, I believe that literally the whole financial sector is gonna go ahead and thrive. Like post everything, things are gonna go back up. But the question is, how long will you have to hold these stocks to go ahead and actually start, you know, making yourself a decent amount of profit? Because I feel like with the prices plummeting that how they are now, by buying in now, averaging in, come maybe like anywhere from a few months to a few years, you can essentially see anywhere from like 20 to 30 plus returns on each one of these stocks. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and like it up down below. Go ahead and let me know how you guys feel about these stocks. Maybe even go ahead and let me know what stock, um, baking stocks that you guys are actually putting your money in. And um, like I said again, guys, we are so freaking close to 1,000 subscribers, man. Y'all help me reach this goal. Um, I've been gunning for it for a while, but um, I got a lot more content on the way, a lot more videos. And um, yeah, like I said, it's like, subscribe, all that. But anyways, it's your boy Chris Lee, aka C Easy, and I'm out. I got a lot on my mind. Sixteen and holding that tonight. Nine. Nine. I got AK with the scores and nine. 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 Nine.